I think making a business of art um, comes in in different ways. I think there are different possibilities uh, of making a business in art. But I think generally um, artists don't like to interface directly with um, with the audience who they're working with. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy to be making your work and then thinking about how you sell it and what what would be the 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 price of the work, you know, um, how would you get people interested, how would you exhibit, all these sorts of things are actually very difficult and I think it's almost too much to, to ask of, 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 of certain individuals who want to just throw themselves into their practice. It is something that as an artist you have to engage, you have to decide on and you have to then try and make it work. So for instance, if I'm the kind of artist which I am, who want to really just focus on my practice. I do need a gallery. As it happens, I have a very, very good gallery. There are lots of opportunities, if you are a critical, creative thinker, to, to find ways in which you can get your work out there. Um, I don't think you have to always rely on a gallery. I think there's uh, a lot of art practices at the moment which, which b function on making a little collective and in that sense almost a, a little business in itself and if you're a little collective say for example five people working out and thinking how can we possibly promote our work that is a very strong position to be in because invariably one of the five of you has got a good business sense you know another one of the five of you has got is very organizational or whatever so you can really think about um, the units of the business, if you like, as being, say, in this, ex this instance, five people. And five people are going to be better at organizing something than the one person. There's something about um, being an artist now, which wasn't the case when, when I was younger, um, is the internet. Um, there are many, many ways of being able to promote your work um, online. And through Instagram, I've noticed so many people are selling their work on Instagram now. But it does require that you have the confidence to do so, that you, you know, really work at it, and that you can produce that platform as a, as a really good business prospect. And especially during COVID now, it's been very, very obvious that there are other platforms to, to be able to um, not only express yourself, but to be able to show your work and to be able to gain an audience. I think there's something about the internet which um, is also something to consider in art education is of course that you very seldom now um, in that context get to see the, say the painting or the artwork in its material form. And for me, that's a very, very important part of not only the individual artist showing the work as it should be shown, but it gets back to the question of education because one of the things that's important about art education at schools is that you are literally physically doing things and learning with your hands, learning with your body, learning with your own body and hands in the community, in your class, learning from your peers, learning from your teacher, your teacher learning from you. And that's the kind of spirit in which I think um, it's really important to stress the art education at, at uh, school level because the fact that people are in the classrooms working with stuff engages a sense of the community that you're in, but also the material, the materials that get transformed from just paint to an image. Materials that get transformed from a body sitting in space to a body gesturing to a body, a body engaging in, in theater studies.